Today we're taking a look at the Cast King Kestrel Elite BFS reel. So far, I've used it a good amount and I've got some thoughts on it that I'm gonna share with you guys. So if you're considering getting a Cast King Kestrel Elite Bay Caster for yourselves or somebody else, I guess, watch the rest of this video because I'm gonna tell you guys exactly what I love about it. But right off the bat, the thing that I love the most about it is that it's made out of magnesium. So this bay caster is extremely lightweight. This is definitely a beautiful bait caster. And I also love that it has the carbon fiber reel handle, super cool. And it makes it an extremely lightweight reel. And I've got it paired up with the Cast King Kestrel casting rod. And this is the ultralight version. So it's very short, but it packs a punch. You've also got smaller finesse style handles on here. So as you can see, those are not very big, but they're perfect for working them smaller baits. The braking system on the side of the reel is very easy to use and adjust, and it makes it very easy to fine tune your reel for whatever lure you are throwing. I just heard a fish jump over there, so it's time for a little bit of a casting test with the Cast King Kestrel Elite. Right now we've got a 230 seconds of an ounce search bait on here, and you would not be able to cast this on your normal bait caster. But since this is a BFS bait caster, we're gonna be able to cast it no problem. So I heard a fish right over here. Good amount of distance if you ask me. And if you get it tuned perfect, you'll probably get a little bit more distance out of it. I also don't feel like backlashing right now. This is one of the worst things you can do when you're using this light of braid on a bait caster. I think this is like five pound and it's extremely, extremely thin. Like you can't even see it. It's like a thread, but you do not want to get a backlash with this stuff because you're more than likely going to have to go home. Good casting distance on this. And it's very smooth to cast, very smooth to reel in. It also doesn't make any noise either. Listen. It's a pretty quiet bait caster. And I hate it when my bait casters make unnecessary noise. It's pretty good for just doing some one hand, underhand casts like that. Especially since this thing is so lightweight. I could probably even skip this. Nope. Nope. Skipped it on the concrete. So as you guys can see, we're getting a good amount of casting distance out of this reel. Look at that, that's probably about 50 feet or something like that. Of course, using lighter baits than this one, you're not gonna get as much distance, but I personally like to use BFS gear for bass fishing, so it's on the heavier side, but not really. I do like to use the ultra light rod because then it is definitely more fun to fight fish with. But when it comes to BFS bass fishing, you can use some slightly larger lures than most people use on BFS, like trout magnets and stuff like that. But using baits like this for bass, it's gonna be a really fun time fighting those fish. So now my final thoughts and opinions on the Kestrel Elite Baitcaster by Cast King. It is a good middle ground baitcaster. It's not extremely expensive, it's not cheap. It's a good middle of the road BFS reel. And I think it performs really well. It also has a drag clicker on there too. So if a fish does end up taking out line, listen to this. And let's be honest guys, everybody loves a drag clicker on a baitcaster. So do I think this fishing reel is worth $200? I would say yes. Overall, it's a good package for a BFS reel, especially if you're just getting into BFS. It's very easy to use, high quality. And I think the value of this baitcaster is really good. It's a good price for some good, high quality components. It's a good baitcaster, guys. And if you pair it with the Kestrel rod, then you're not spending an arm and a leg on a BFS combo. So go ahead and check out the links down in the description and pin down in the comments for more details on it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.